Hi everyone! Today we are going to make bread. Samantha guys, tinapay. As in, tinapay. Bread is the product of baking of flour, water, salt, yeast, and other ingredients. The basic process involves mixing of ingredients until the flour is converted into a stiff paste or dough followed by baking the dough into a loaf. In mixing the dough, we are going to use the modified straight dough method. So, soften the yeast in liquid, combine fat, sugar, salt until well combined but not do not whip. Add eggs gradually to sugar, fat mixture. Add the remaining liquid until mixed. Add a flour in Arina, the yeast. guys, first and class niya. Bread flour. Bread flour naman may ara. First class, third class, may second class. So, a first class, parang a social. At this time, let's uh, do the mixing on top of uh, the table. So, ibabaw na ta sa lamisa. Ha? Limpyo ha. Okay, ibutan nga nga rin ha. Himuan sa buho, sa tunga. Para nga masudlan ta sa liquid. Ang liquid mo na ang mga itlog, yeast, nga may gatas na bla. O, nga ginferment. So, let's do it. Tanglan nyo lang guys, cutter, para sa aton nga dough. Let's add now our yeast mixture. If you are using instant yeast, no need fermentation. Pwede mo na diritso sa arena or sa tubig. Dala masa na. Add now our egg, two to three pieces. And the salt. added the salt, about one teaspoon and a half. Ang salt tagali guys, pwede nyo ipaulihin na lang. Samtang nag-ferment ang yeast. Hindi lang pagidungan, basi mapatay ang yeast. Kay salt na yamo. It might weaken the fermentation of the yeast. Panagin gamit ang labador ko dahi guys. Kay lamisa na lang tabila. Para wala na hulugasan. Ang importante mag-rice sing nami nami ang aton nga tinapay kag nami ang sabor ibuhin na ng sugar gamit lang mga 1 half to 3 fourths cup add 3 fourths of a pound of the margarine you may use oil is the best shortening for baked goods they are extra tender because there is less opportunity to develop the gluten in the flour by over mixing the batter coconut oil is the best oil contains 100% fat. Canola oil is number two best oil. It's exciting nga nga part kay nagailog na ginang tubig so dali dali on ta ang pagmix kla. In making a good bread dough made by any process must be extensible enough for it to relax and to expand while it's rising. A good dough is extensible if it will stretch out when pulled. It also must be elastic, that is, have the strength to hold the gases produced while rising and stable enough to hold its shape and cell structure there are two proteins present in flour the gliadin and the glutenin form gluten when mixed with water so it is the gluten that gives dough these special properties gluten is essential for bread making and influences the mixing kneading and baking properties of dough so when you first start to bake bread learning to mix the ingredients is very important why do we need dough in kneading stretches and develops the gluten strands and the dough the protein strands line up and this creates a gluten matrix and a bread which traps air and lets the bread rise We've added baking powder to it. Baking powder is used to increase the volume and lighten the texture of the baked goods. It works by releasing the carbon dioxide gas into a batter or dough through an acid-based reaction, causing bubbles and a wet mixture to expand and thus leaven the mixture. Extra oil for kneading. Say one third cup. The importance of kneading. Its importance lies in the mixing of flour with water. 
when these two ingredients are combined and kneaded, the gliadin and glutenin proteins and the flour expand and form strands of gluten, which gives bread its texture. Sundan nyo lang guys ang action sa kamot ko kung paano ko ginahila. Stretch at tinapay. Kneading. Para mag-develop ang gluten. Gluten. So, Nagalaba ka mo guys ang bayo nyo. This is how you knead the dough. About handling the dough, just grasp the side of the dough furthest away from you and fold it in half towards you. Place the heels of both hands on top of the dough. this moment, no need adding all the flour. Ulihin na siya guys. Kaya nagamat-amat na niya siya ferment. Mas uh, finer nagawa ang result niya. Sa sige na kamasa. More kneading. And this is by hand. Mano-mano niya siyang tawag. Wala ta machine ha. Yung ginagamit. So, we have to come up a very good uh, texture for our bread with hands only once in a while massage canola oil for ease in kneading but not guys don't naghampang lang enjoy this process this makes bun soft and fluffy yeast ferments the sugar present in the dough into the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide released from the yeast fills the dough and increase its volume once the bread has baked, the heat causes the bubbles to break and makes the bread light and fluffy. 100 strokes guys, dala na na lampos. Halin sa umpisa na pala. Nga gina, ginamasa mo na siya. Oh. Muna lang na isipon mo. May lampos-lampos, may stretching. Na isipon mo na lang na para eksakto ang imong pag timpla sang imo nga do nga makunat na nang domo stretching lampos hila stretching Pag masanay ka dito guys, parang wala lang yun. nag enjoy ka na lang. I think this is ready for window pane test. Kita stretch ang do guys, maglapad. Kaglantawon ta kon makita mo ang punta kang finger mo gani mo na na. Second step is fermentation. Ta oil sa container kay dira ta yung para rice. Ama ni siyang first rising. Importante ni siya sa tanan. Until double in size. There are two conditions that we need dough in order to make our yeast flourish in your dough. Moisture and warmth. So that's why uh, we need damp cloth here. And then uh, I'm going to put this in an oven. Oven that has been uh, lighted and then uh, turned off. So, init siya mainit ang oven. Wala kalayo. Pandaro ng oven, kagpat yun. Mainit-init na siya. Amo na ang gusto sa yeast. May moisture, kag may medyo mainit. While waiting for our dough to rise, let's go to the garden. One way of picking bananas. Wala na gin tapas. Wala na. Tapas. Eh. Oh. Alright, after three hours, let's check how's our dough. Wow! 
at this moment we're going to punch down shape and ready for the final rice once you have mastered the first rice of the bread dough you are ready to start stretching and shaping it so how to punch down transfer the dough to a lightly floured surface then use your fingertips to gently press and stretch it this process releases carbon dioxide, relaxes the gluten, and redistributes the yeast cells in bread dough. Why we need to punch the dough? If bread is allowed to rise to more than double its size, the gluten will stretch to the point of collapse and will no longer be able to hold the gas bubbles that provide necessary structure for the loaf. Overproof dough is usually very dense. Punching down deflates the dough and controls its rate of proofing. So, hindi na magtaas ang inyong atinapay kung i-bake nyo na kung wala na punching-punching. Overproofed dough is usually very dense. After the dough has been punched down, it's not going to have a second rise. You can let it rest for 20 minutes, then move on to shaping it. So, at this moment, we are going to divide our dough into five parts or six parts prepare the pans first by greasing and then once the dough is shaped it needs to rise and be proofed for a final time it should be transferred to the pan it will be baked in or on most often a loaf pan or baking sheet so i have here my small loaf pans when shaping loaves or rolls Pinching the seam at the bottom helps to form a tight outer skin and results in a higher rise and better form. There are two surfaces to rising dough, the lower surface that is touching the bottom of the bowl or dough rising container which is usually bumpy and the upper surface which is not pressing against any surface and so it's usually smooth you want the smooth surface to become the outside or top of the loaf so when shaping place it against the work surface as you shape the dough the smooth surface will grip the work surface slightly helping to create a better final for the last part of our dough let's make pan diesel by making a log and then divide the dough into parts and roll it in the breadcrumbs and line in a baking sheet cover the dough with a lightly oiled plastic wrap or damp cloth and let it rise in a warm moist environment or in the oven again Now it's ready for baking but we are going to top it with some cheese, sesame seeds, butter toasts, breadcrumbs. I like more. I uh, grated some butter on top. Kay mahamot ang butter. Kung naga pula pula na siya. May brush egg wash. Itlog ba lang may gatas for the glaze. So ready to bake for a preheated oven at 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Golden brown and crispy. Luto na ang aton nga tinapay. As in luto na git. Mahamot siya. Dumakaon ako. Nakakagutom. Mainit pa. But uh, cooling down is very important also. You cannot uh, yet uh, slice this bread. Samtang mainit pa. Pabog na won ta anay. Para nami ang dating sang aton nga pag slice. Kay basi mag flap siya blow. Mag mahumok ang sulod. Kinanglan mag tiga siya anay sa pagpalamig inside and the outside. It's soft in the inside. Congrats! You're finished with the hard work that makes the sort of work. Now, it's time to make it your own. So, I've done a good uh, bread today. Sarap, oh? Mm -hmm. Mahamot siya, guys, ang butter. Amit. A little of parmesan. Add in cheese. 
and butter shredded on top. As in, yummy. Mmm. Sorry for this one. I broke the top because uh, my oven is too small and it rice super, super hot this height. It overflows, then it touches the upper portion of my oven. Anyway, this is for our eating. I won't sell this because um, my daughter loves my bread. She requested me yesterday to make another bread. Yesterday, I made buns. Make it an um, egg sandwich. These are the buns I made yesterday. This is another kind of loaf I made today, this morning. So I made a crust, uh, breadcrumbs with butter. Get up, guys. Mabango. I've just made a big pandisal. Jumbo pandisal. I hope that you would love this recipe. Then, just give it a try. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to my channel for more video uploads. I still have so many videos to share you. Thank you for helping my channel grow. Hanggang sa muli. Amo gid nga salam. Wow. Inyo. Tilawanta. Kung ano naman ang sabor sini. Recipes are being provided in the description box below. This is my big pandisal. Okay, ito na. Parang mukhang masarap. Mayroon na tayong tasty bread. Mayroon pa tayong pandisal. Saan ka pa? Sarap. Fluffy. Soft. Creamy. Crunchy. Try for your toppings. Top it with them um, breadcrumbs and butter. Okay, this is it. It's for our home consumption.